How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be running you through three of my favorite icon libraries for web developers. Now, all of these are really high quality icon libraries, which I recommend. It's going to be up to you in terms of how you like the design uh, to decide which one you choose, as well as the small conveniences that the libraries provide you with. It might swear you one way or the other. Now, they're all going to be installable using NPM, as well as providing a standard like like link tag or script tag to install it on your page if you want to go down that route instead. And as a bonus, they're all open source, so that's fantastic. So let's jump into the list of icon libraries. Okay, let's begin with one of my favorite icon libraries called Ion Icons. I've used this library quite a few times in my previous video, so you may recognize it if you've seen some of my tutorials before. Now, the reason why I like this library is because the whole experience from start to finish is just simple and straight to the point. So I'm going to be leaving this linked down below. You can have a look for yourself and see if you like the way it looks and if it fits the design of your web page. Now you have three styles to choose from, outline, filled or sharp. I typically go for either filled or sharp. And when it comes to the usage of the library, if we can go inside this tab right here, we have at the very top the installation. We can copy these two script tags and like it says right here, place them at the end of your body. So going back inside the HTML here, I can paste those two script tags right there. And now the library is ready to go. When it comes to the usage of the icon library, let's go back to the icons tab here. And for example, let's search for the rocket icon. I'll go straight to field, right? Then click on the icon and we get the code for the icon. So it uses web components, which of course is really convenient. It allows you to easily differentiate your icons from your other HTML uh, tags. You simply click on this to copy, then go back inside VS Code. I'm going to paste it inside the body here. That is your basic usage. Ion-icon with a name attribute of the icon name. Save this back in the browser, refresh, and we get the icon rendered to the screen. So very straightforward. When it comes to the different variants, so the different styles, outline, field, or sharp, you simply add some extra information to your name. So for example, rocket-outline. Back in, the, uh, back in VS Code here, rocket-outline to get the outlined version of the rocket. Save this back in the browser and there we go. So perfect, right? Now when it comes to the sizing of the icons, by default you have two different sizes, small and large. You're seeing small right here, okay? But I can add the size attribute to say large. Now, save this back in the browser and it gets much bigger, okay? This is good, but if you want fine grain control, you can use CSS. So let's give this a class of example-icon. Let's copy this class name here, go in the CSS, and we can target it to say a font size of, for example, 48 pixels. Save this back in the browser and it gets a lot bigger, okay? Great. Now when it comes to the color of the icon, we can also use the CSS color uh, property. We can say color of 009578, that is the decode green color. Save this back in the browser and we get that green icon. Okay, next on this list is gonna be Google Material Symbols. So this one here I've also used on my channel in the past and it really gives you a lot of fine grain control over what you want to be displayed in terms of the options for the icon. So let me scroll down here and this is what the icons look like. Obviously being from Google, it is very familiar and you have a couple of different styles to choose from. So you have uh, sharp, rounded and outlined. So I'll just go into the outlined version and uh, we can see here you've got a bit, a bit of a different style. So of course, once again, have a look at the icons, see if you like them and if they're going to fit for your application. Now, when it comes to the usage for the Google material icons or symbols, I think the best thing to do is to choose the icon that you want and then go from there. So let's search for the rocket icon once again. We're going to choose this one. On the right side, you get instructions based on what you chose under the filters. Okay, so I've got these options selected right here. Again, very fine grain. You can uh, get to a lot of detail in terms of what you actually want here. Once you've chosen this here, 
we can click on the rocket again and we have these instructions. So you can either choose to use a variable icon font which gives you more flexibility in the CSS to adjust some of this stuff or you can use a static icon font. If you're just sort of starting out or you want a simple solution, I'd go for the static icon font. Uh, so we can simply copy this link here, go back inside the head, save this. So now back in the browser, we can copy this inserting the icon code and paste it in the body and we get uh, the icon on the page once we save and refresh of course. So going back in the browser and we get this right here. So again, this icon library gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of what you actually want on your page. Now when it comes to some of the uh, standard stuff like increasing the size and things like that, this can be done really using CSS. So let's, let's give this icon here another class called example-icon so of course we can use some css on it i'll copy this go in the style and just like iron icons you can choose to have a font size of for example 48 pixels and also a font color and i'm sure a lot of other css properties are going to work especially if you add a wrapper around this if you want to uh, position it and so on save this back in the browser and we get this right here. And last on this list, we have an icon library called Box Icons. Now, this one here is really interesting because it provides a lot of functionality from the get-go. So this is what the icons look like and you have a few things going on here. You have a regular solid or logos type and you also have some categories if you want to uh, drill down into those to find your desired icon. Now, when it comes to the usage of this icon library, let's go inside the usage page. You can install through NPM, of course, or use a web component. So similar to Ion icons. Let's copy this script tag here and paste it inside the head of your HTML. I'm going to add the defer attribute for good measure just to make sure the script executes once the page has loaded up. I'm going to save this and now we can begin to use the icon library. Let's have a look at the rocket example once again. So let's copy this example code, go back in VS Code here, paste it, save this and again easy to use library and the rocket is going to render on the page. Now let's jump to, uh, oh actually let me first mention about the logo. So if you want to use a logo on uh, your page, you must provide a type of logo which corresponds to of course this logo's uh, option. Now when it comes to the extra functionality, we can see here we get a nice list of everything we can do. Let's begin with the type attribute. Back inside here, let's add a type of solid instead. Save this back in the browser and we get a solid rocket instead. Read the list of icons to make sure that you have a solid version or regular version, whatever it might be, of your arc. Let's have a look at the color and the size and the rotation, why not? So going back inside here, let's add a size of LG, short for large, and a uh, let's add a color of red and also a rotation, I believe it's called rotate, equal to something such as 270 degrees. Save this back in the browser and we get a 270 degree rotation of the icon, it is red, and it is large. What's also interesting is the animation ability. So animation equal to tada, save this, and we get the animation on the icon out of the box. So really convenient to have this functionality from the get-go. And I encourage you to also, of course, once again, uh, have a look at this page here and see how you can take advantage of this icon library to make your page a lot more interesting. And that is all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed that one and you learned something. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.